If you're confused about what to put up on your Windows lock screen, Windows Spotlight is always there to help you out. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about issues with Windows Spotlight not working. So the first thing that you have to do is go ahead and check that your internet connection is active. As you can see, I have an active internet connection here and it's needed for Windows Spotlight to keep refreshing those lock screen wallpapers. So just make sure that you're connected to the internet, make sure uh, to restart your router or take any other preliminary fixes like that. Once you're done with this, the next step is to actually toggle Spotlight on and off again. Now to do this, press Windows key plus I and uh, we can just search for Spotlight right there. Click on the change uh, Spotlight, click on change your lock screen background. And uh, here you will uh, see your window Spotlight option. So you can select between picture, slideshow and window Spotlight. So just select something else and then go and select Spotlight back again. Um, lock your screen, make sure you connect it to the Wi-Fi and this should fix your problem. If that doesn't work out for you, the next step is to re-register Spotlight via a PowerShell command. Now uh, we're going to just search for PowerShell and from the search results, we are going to run it as an administrator. Give Windows the permissions that it needs. And here we are. Now. Uh, I'll give this command in the description below, but what we're going to do is essentially copy and paste this command in here, which uh, deregisters uh, your uh, PowerShell feature and then re-registers it into Windows again, just so give everything a refresh. Uh, take this command, press enter, uh, it will take a while to run and then you should be able to use Windows Spotlight without any problems. If re-registering didn't work, we can also manually reset Spotlight. So to do this, just press Windows key plus E to open Windows Explorer and then copy paste this path that I'm using here. Of course, this will also be available in the description below. And now you will see two files here, settings and roaming. Uh, we're going to rename them to something else so they can be anything. Uh, you can rename them uh, so it becomes dot back or a backup file or anything else and um, then just restart your system and try again uh, this should fix any problems with spotify uh, with spotlight because these two files are the two that contain the majority of spotlight settings and how it connects to the internet and its assets uh, speaking of which the next solution is to delete uh, Spotlight's assets. Uh, once again, open up Windows Explorer and uh, this time we are going to go to a different folder. So as usual, you will find the link uh, or the URL in the description below. Copy paste, uh, press enter and you will see a bunch of files here. Now these are all files that Spotlight has downloaded for its use. They are wallpapers and anything else that you might or that the feature might need. What we're going to do is just select all of them, shift delete and click yes. Uh, we can also delete them to the recycle bin and uh, recover them later if you feel like that's a safer route to take. But you can just permanently delete these items, restart your system and Spotlight should start working. If nothing so far has done the trick, it may be time that you look at a network reset because chances are the problem lies in your internet connection. Now network reset is very easy, uh, just open windows settings, search for network reset and click on the first option that appears. This is just a one button solution and what it does is that removes all of your network devices and then reinstalls them so you get a driver refresh, it sets every setting back to the originals and uh, it also resets your VPN client or anything else that you've got running. So you may have to enter passwords for Wi-Fi networks and sh uh, stuff like that again. But uh, it should fix uh, most problems that you're facing with your internet connection. So just go ahead and click this reset now button. Let Windows do its thing and you will be good to go. 
Next thing to do is to try and uh, enable metered connections. So Windows updates don't download on metered connections uh, or Windows features don't run on metered connections and that's when you have limited bandwidth. Now to do this, press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings and we are going to the Wi-Fi and internet option. In here, you need to select the internet connection that you're connected to. So you can go to Wi-Fi from here. I'm connected to Ethernet, so I'm just gonna go there. So the way metered connections work is that they limit how much you can download uh, on your data and hence windows doesn't run services like uh, updates and other settings on metered connections just make sure that the metered connection toggle is set to off and uh, then give your computer a restart just for good measure and everything should start working as it should If that doesn't work, uh, you can also try disabling your antivirus software. Uh, that only stands true if you have a third party anti -so anti virus or anti malware software like malware bytes or something because sometimes they can interfere with Windows features. We do not recommend that you do this and if you do this, just make sure you only test the, uh, that it's not working because of the antivirus software and then toggle it back on because it's important to stay safe. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.